I thrifted this broken dresser for 30 pounds and I had the coolest idea for it. I seen these apothecary cabinets everywhere and I've always wanted one for my own. So I brought this dresser home and I got straight to work. The first step was getting out my router. This is the tool that I use to cut the big drawers into individual little fox drawers to give the apothecary kind of vision and look. So I made a jig with a spare piece of MDF so my router can glide easily against it down the middle of the drawers. I use that same technique through the middle of the drawers to give the illusion that these big ones had tons of little ones hidden inside. I gave them a quick scuff sand down to smooth them out and they look like this. Next, I took this curved base and I wanted to make it look a bit more chunky like an apothecary cabinet. So I tilted my miter saw and I cut some spare MDF I had, used some no more nails and I applied it to the front and the sides and secured it on with my nail gun to make sure it was on there, it wasn't coming off and it looked really cool. I then caulked all the edges and the seam down the middle. And a trick with caulking is you just use a wet brush to wipe it away and it works a treat. Next, I primed the whole dresser and the drawers with slick stick as this piece isn't real wood. And then I moved on to the most fun part ever. Since apothecary cabinets are really old, I wanted to make this piece look 100 years old, cracked and vintage, and I'll show you how I did this. First, you apply your base color. I use the color chocolate. This is the color that will show through the cracks. Next, I used Dixie Belle Crackle Medium and I applied it in a crosshatch pattern. I applied it on a little bit thick, so when it dried, I then applied my top color, which was drop cloth, and as it dried itself, you could literally see it crack before your eyes. It is the coolest thing to do, and it gives you the most authentic and real looking weathered piece of furniture. Honestly, look at that, it's so cool. So I did that entire technique across the whole dresser, applying my base coat, then using a crosshatch pattern to apply the crackle and my top coat, and then I sealed it all up when it was done cracking. Next, I moved on to the hardware. I bought these handles off Amazon and I made them look rustic and weathered and 100 years old. I did this by laying them all out, painting them, using patina iron and using Dixpel patina spray to let them rust overnight. The next day, I drilled them onto the drawer fronts and drilling 48 pieces of hardware was a lot of work. But just a reminder, this was the before and this was my sketch in the after. Honestly, this is the coolest thing I've ever made. I, I just like, I don't know, I'm kind of speechless. I love how this turned out. What do you guys think of my apothecary cabinet?